Hey everybody, thank y'all so much for joining me on today's YouTube video. So today I am going to kind of tie in with the video from last week about making Instagram quotes. If you haven't seen that, I will go ahead and link it somewhere up top. Um, I just want you guys to take a look at that first before we dive into this video. So... Um, in the last one that I published on YouTube, it was about how to make one single Instagram quote. Now, when I sell my Instagram quotes on Etsy, I typically sell either 25 or 50 in one bundle. But if you've been on Etsy for any amount of time, you'll notice that when you're making a listing, you can only add five files to each listing. So if you've got more than five files, you will either need to create a Dropbox link and make a document with a Dropbox link, upload that document to your listing, or you can use a zip file. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I put more than five listings, I'm sorry, more than five files on each listing um, using a Dropbox link. So uh, we will go ahead and I don't want to look at that one we'll look at these fashion quotes that I've got right here. So as you can see, uh, there's more than five quotes right here. There's a total of 25 with this. And I created a Dropbox file with all 25 of these quotes. So let's see, here's the fashion quotes. Okay. So here's the fashion quotes. I have all of these, see, here's one by one what they look like. But um, I created a folder in Dropbox with each quote um, in it. So what you would need to do if you have a quote bundle or um, like a template bundle or anything like that, you'll have to create a folder on Dropbox. Um, I have the free version of Dropbox. All you need to do to sign up for Dropbox is um, I think use your email address. It's really easy. I actually signed up with Google, I think. So it's really easy to do and it's free. Now, if you want to do Dropbox business, you can, but I don't really see the need in doing that for myself right now. So I can't tell you anything about it if you're looking into doing something like that. So back to creating the link for this specific listing. So you will need to find um, an app called Text Edit if you're using an Apple product. If you're using a Windows computer, all you'll need to do is open up, um, I think like Notepad or WordPad or something like that. Um, so I've already got it opened up right here and I've named it test file just to show you guys. So what you'll need to do once you get each of these files into the folder of your choice. So once I got all, I think it's 50 files total into this folder, uh, you'll go into the folder and you'll hit share. So you can either email it to someone or you can create a link and put it into this text file. That's what I like to do so that when you purchase the file, you immediately can download um, this file and it will give you the Dropbox link and you can go straight to the Dropbox link and download what you need to download. So I will hit copy, I'll hit share folder and then I'll hit copy link. So it will copy this link right here. You'll go to test file or whatever you name this file. It's completely up to you. I'm just using test file for this since I already have the actual link that I sell with my product. And then I'll hit paste. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Um, but then I will usually type a message before the Dropbox link. So dropbox.com, blah, 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 blah. Oh, that looks bad. So this is where the link goes. And then I will type here, um, 
Here is the link to the files you purchased. Copy and paste it into Chrome or another internet, oh, I can't spell today, to another internet browser. Then download your files from there. Thanks again and have a wonderful day. So now I'll save it. So this is saved. So let's see. Here is like where you go to create the listing since I've already got it pulled up. This makes it super easy to show you guys everything. So you'll scroll all the way down to where it says digital files. Buyers can download these files as soon as they complete their purchase. So this is only here because I have everything listed as digital and not physical. If you have it listed as physical, um, then it won't give you that option, I don't think. I automatically have everything digital and I just copy and paste the listings. It makes it really easy. I'll make another video and show you guys the difference between this physical and digital listing and how you can just copy Etsy listings. Um, but again, that's another story. So once you get this test file or whatever it's called created and saved, you will go to upload file and I have all of these different text edits um, for all kinds of stuff here. Some of these I don't have anymore, but um, anyways, just for this video, I'll hit test file, open, and that's it. So as soon as the buyer completes their purchase, they'll get an email from Etsy um, with this file. They can also go into their purchase history on Etsy and hit this file and it will open up this little message and the Dropbox link will be up here. Once they put the Dropbox link, once they copy and paste it from here into the browser, it will take them to this exact page and they will be able to open this up and download it. So if you guys liked this video, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask me. I get messages all the time on Etsy, so I'm open to any kind of comments or feedback or whatever for you guys. I am here to help you um, start a digital download store and grow that into something amazing. So um, I want to thank you guys again for watching this video today. and. Please tune in for the next video. I'll talk about using zip files instead of this Dropbox link. And I'll also be talking about digital files versus physical listings as well. So I will see y'all again soon.